I've been waiting a long time for this. I've had this American chestnut, clear American chestnut, not the wormy chestnut reclaimed. This is a fresh cut tree damaged in a storm about a year ago. I've been holding on to it, waiting for it to be ready, and it's ready. I can't wait to build a bunch more of these. Uh, the American chestnut is a gorgeous wood, very lightweight, good tone wood. I'm going to do natural stain on this one. And then the next one I do is going to have the English chestnut stain. It's a darker stain. But anyway, really happy to get this chestnut going. Is it any wonder why this is the most enjoyable part of most projects for me? I can't wait till I see what this beautiful chestnut is going to look like once I put the first coat of the natural finish on it. Here it goes. Oh, look at that wood. I'll finish it off and show you the end result. And there it is, first coat of finish on my American chestnut. It's beautiful. This is a natural stain, so it allows the grain to come through just as though it's got no finish on it. The finish gives it a protective coat, and it does make it a little bit darker than the natural wood. Beautiful grain. It's also a beautiful tone. This thing has been ringing the whole time I've been working with the wood. Can't wait to hear it. The one I have over here that I just started, the same wood. This one's going to have English chestnut. It's a darker stain. Makes the grain come out even more because it brings the darkness out in the grain powder. Can't wait to get them started and put them up. I'm going to be selling them. We've got uh, plenty of chestnut to work with. Here's the before and after. There's that chestnut hourglass I just built, and there's where it came from. That's the root portion, half of it, of the tree when it was cut down, and the plankings that I'm starting to work with it to make the hourglasses, and I'll have teardrops available too.